We're a bit humbled. We're a bit overall. No, we're no, humbled. it's the other way around, actually. Rock legends <laughs> in our studio. Been watching you on telly for years now. Oh, can I, geez, can I touch you? <laughs> <laughs> in some places you get arrested for that. Um, right, you've got this new album coming out. So it's live stuff. Yeah, mostly. Yes, tell us about it. It's called Mirror Ball. It's a triple disc set, two CDs, 21 live tracks, three new songs, and a DVD. Okay. Of which you just saw bits of. Yeah. Value for your money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're, now you're also going to release a Def Leppard lullaby CD. Yeah, yeah, we are. Nothing to do with me and him, though. It's Phil and Vivian played on some stuff. We actually took the lead from bands like U2 and Zeppelin, Aerosmith, a couple of others have done it. It's, instead of sending your kids to Bar Bar Black Sheep, you know, sending sleep to Bar Bar Black Sheep, you fall asleep to a whole lot of love or sugar or oh, with yeah. or without you or something like that. So, what, in yeah. sort of love? Bring them up rock and roll style. You know. Yes! <laughs> um, now, look, you've done only five rock bands have had two consecutive 10 million selling albums in the US. The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Van Halen and you. It's impressive. Um, yes! Yeah. You've sold 65 million records. Did you, in the 80s, uh, go big, get a bit, little bit big time? Or did you stay normal for that whole time? We kind of keep each other normal, really. Yeah. I mean, within the bubble of Def Leppard, it's like the world goes on outside of it. But, you know, we can't kid each other. You know, we've known each other too long. When you support two Sheffield teams, you have feet yeah. firmly on the ground. Oh, that is true. That'll bring you back to Always. Reality. But you must, have had, like, you must have had some rock and roll requests. You know, when you start getting in big stadium tours, can you ask for whatever you want? Well, yeah, you can have all the green M&Ms removed from the bowl, you know, <laughs> and things like that. But um, we just, normally it's like, you know, chicken bovril and, you know, Yorkshire tea and stuff. Yeah. That's all we want. Henderson's Relish. Henderson's Relish, yeah, got to have that on tour or there's no, there's no gig. You know, they say no, no snow, no shows, no Henderson's, no show. Sort of yeah. Do you have to take it anywhere with you? Or? We have to take it with yeah. us. Okay. Little and really, box, anybody it, yeah. that's not from Sheffield might not know what Henderson's relish is. We bit, she when Sheffield fans have been on the show, I can't remember if it was United or Wednesday, but they brought us a bottle of Henderson's yeah. relish. Yeah, they did they, do, did yeah. they ever do them in the colours? Yes, colors? They, and they, they did. The, yes, hundred, the, the centenary of the, of the company. They did red and white and blue yes. and white bottles. Yeah. What, what think, sort of, what I think it was a blue and white bottle. I think it was a white bottle. Yeah, there, see, there, there, there plenty of them left. What the red Henderson's? and white ones sold out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to know what the relish is. What, what, what's it it's like? It's like Worcester what's sauce, sauce? better. Yeah. Okay. It's just a bit yeah. more gold label. You know. oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, I, I love the fact that everybody knows that bands have to do rounds of press and publicity when they've got new stuff coming out. But over this weekend, uh, well, you've done Talk Sport, today Soccer AM, and tomorrow you're doing uh, Absolute Football with Russ. There's a bit of a theme running through. I guess of these days you can pick and choose what you do. Well, we're, we're all football fans, you know. That's that's the bottom line, and you know, and we talk about music all the time. So it's <laughs> this nice is a great release. release really. Really? When Brilliant you're in then. England, it's like you know, in America, it's it's different. In America, it's all very rock and roll, and soccer is still a new sport over there. It's mostly played by girls. Yes, it is. You know? Yeah, it's um, huge over there. Over here, it's you know, it's a bit more manly. So you know, we kind of can we do the football stuff as well? Yeah, yeah. right. You've mentioned you're both <laughs> Sheffield lads, <laughs> Joe. You're a blade. And Sav, Don't remind you're a Wednesday. Me. Joe relegated. Yeah, yeah. What is she in? Well, at least. <laughs> <we're>... <laughs> yeah, I said that last season. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The, uh, at least it'll be a local derby next year. Right, that's, that's it. the only good thing about it. The but we're both in the third both, tier. It's both not in good. League One. Just yeah, it's, seem it's right. not. Yeah. For a, it's not a good, city is it? the size of Sheffield, it's ridiculous to have two teams in the third tier. I mean, it's you know, with all due respect to all the other teams, you know, it should be a Premiership fixture. Because it also it does mean that if uh, Torquay win the playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, well, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get your map out and look yeah. for Sheffield. Yeah. It's a good weekend. It's a good weekend away to go down to Torquay for the away fixtures. Is it going to be Especially the when we win, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, at least you didn't See, that's it, not buying the album. <laughs> no, I've got one in my oh, bag. Oh, good. Got <laughs> but as a Wednesday fan, surely you're just, you know, you're a bit disappointed that you might have to go to Torquay. Do you know what I mean? No, no, no. Well, I mean, we, you know, we're, we're used to <laughs> going to places <laughs> like Exeter Max. and, yeah. you know, there would be. There's a lot of journeys to be as done Sam's in, that, been in pointing that out, As he's been pointing out to me the last couple of days, you get relegated, you think it's going to be easier next season because the teams aren't as good. But he says that the teams in, in the first division are actually, this season, were better than the championship teams that came to the so, last yeah. season. Yeah. So the, the only help. difference was that the teams in the championship, a few of them had obvious premiership players or Premier League players. But man for man, I thought that the, a lot of teams in, in League One 
we're, we're better than the You need the a club next team. season. <laughs> Sheffield United need a player like you. I need to come Please. out of retirement. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, man, absolutely. So, four different managers this season. Mickey Adams sack, which was, a bit, that was awful that that didn't work, wasn't it? Can I look at the camera and say, our board, you need to look at yourselves long and hard. Not good, okay. not good. They fired Blackwell a game and a half into the season. How do you do that? How do you fire a guy at half time? You know, uh, okay, speed goes to Wales, fair enough. But to bring in Mickey Adams when we're already on the slippery slope, and then get rid of him before there's a chance to like turn it round, is a is a Sheffield boy, is a Blake long, you know, lifelong Blades fan, and they get rid of him as well. I think they should get rid of themselves, to be quite honest. Yeah. Mm. Universal approval. That's my free that. tickets gone forever. <laughs> uh, well, what about Wednesday? Gary Megson, how did you feel when he got the choice? Similar, isn't he? A, a, a well, at, at first I wasn't sure, I've got to be honest. Uh, I wasn't. I, I kind of thought that Gary Johnson might have been a good choice at the time. He's a good man. Yeah, I think he's a great manager. I can't believe that Bristol City got rid of him when they did, but I think he's got the Northampton now, whatever. I'm sure they'll do well. That's <laughs> true. Uh, now, having been there a few months, I think he's, Gary Megson slowly turning it round. And, you know, with the club on a, a stable footing now financially, I do think that, you know, it's about time we started moving forward. And his dad's a Sheffield legend as well, isn't he? Don's dad. Oh, Don makes yeah. sense. Oh, yeah, one of the, oh, one of the I guys. Had, I had oh, Don right. Megson's testimonial programme, so I gave it to you a couple yeah, you of years did, ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was black and white, but <laughs> it painted the blue in with an ink. With an ink one of the best left backs <laughs> in England. <laughs> that is great. I was having a look at the, the, the new triple album yesterday, having a look at the, the, the band notes in it, and um, you thank Milan Mandaric. Look. Oh. Well, I did. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. Because no. that's on your your page of uh, what? Thank you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw that when we did the draft. How about that removed? <laughs> yeah, I snuck, I, snuck, I snuck that by him. Is there a, is there a good reason? Well, absolutely. I mean, he came in and saved the club. I mean, Sheffield Wednesday were a few hours out from going out of business around Christmas time. He's come in. The debt's been wiped out, and he's going to put money into uh, you know to invest in the team. Does and he know that? Does he know that you've thanked him in the album? No, uh, well, I don't know actually. Anything I mean, for a free box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in a word, would you swap your entire rock and roll career oh, yes. to be a professional footballer? No, I wouldn't because you kind of, you know, I'm a little more experienced age wise than the average 32 year old that's about to retire and I'm still doing it, you know. <laughs> but I, I've had my moments. I actually wore the first ever left footed pre uh, Predator boot. Did they not give you the pair? Well, no. <laughs> they did. Well, I could have done it. Uh, he's a bit Craig, Johnson, Craig Johnson used to be my neighbour uh, when he lived in Dublin, <laughs> right? And he came round and he says, he nice, says uh, I brought nuts. a camera and some five side goals. He put them in my garden. He says, what size do you wear? I says, nines. And he says, here, put this on. And it's this football boot that was covered in, like, um, table tennis bat stuff. It was all just glued on. And we were just kicking the ball, and it really was like, wow. And he said he got Beckham to agree to wear him. That was about 94. So that was the prototype. That's about as good as my football career ever got. That's <laughs> he, of course, used to play for Sheffield United. Can you believe it? I, yes. I still as can't a believe it. Yeah, as a, yeah they, they signed me on schoolboy forms. Uh, I played for Sheffield boys, South Yorkshire boys, and I could have actually signed at the time for Sheffield Wednesday, but it was the mid-70s, and Wednesday had just had the worst season ever. Uh, and United actually did have a decent team at that point. Oh, so you could so split her. I actually, <laughs> yeah. I actually, I wore the red and white stripe for two years. I never ever played well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the reverse well, of Billy's boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I have to say, I did wear a vest under the shirt, so that okay. the, the, the shirt so never, actually, never yeah, actually yeah, touched my skin. Okay. Cool. Uh, they're proper, aren't they? Go and sound. <laughs>